Welcome back aliens, my name is Avin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Django. Now we are remaining with one important step which is logout. Of course right when you say login and register and after the user has done with his work of course you will want him to log out from the system but how will you do that? Now of course you need a button there as well so somewhere here you need a logout button but then having a login and logout at the same time doesn't make any sense. So either it should be login or it should be logout in fact you should also remove registration from there. So how will you do that? So let's do that switching first. So I will go back to my code and here in the index.html, this is where I want to do switching. So I want to print this to, I want to show registration and login when a user is not logged in. And the moment you log in, it will remove this to and it will give the option of logout. So basically we have to check for the conditions. So let's do a condition here. So the way you can check for the condition is very simple. You have to use a Jinja format again, right? And here we have to apply condition. So we will say if the way you can check that is by using user dot. And so we have a very special function here, which is is underscore authenticated. So this is the inbuilt function available. You don't have to do the coding for this. Now, if the user is authenticated, if it returns true, in this case, that means you are logged in. At this point, I want to show logout. So we can just copy this code and paste it here. Okay, so this should be logout. Okay, but then before logout, I also want to print the name of the user who is using the system, right? So it should be hello Naveen and then logout option. Uh, so how will you do that? How will you get logout here? So again, I want a list and then here I will print hello and the name. How will I get the name? I, can, I can't simply say Naveen because it doesn't matter who logins. Uh, everyone will get the same name. Uh, we don't want that. We just want it to be dynamic. And that's why I will fetch it from the user. So I will say user dot, let's, let's print first name. Why do you print username? Yeah, so it will print the first name. So it will say, hello Naveen, hello Pravin, something like that. Uh, so this will be printed when you got, uh, when you are logged in. But what if you're not logged in? So in this case, you will use else part here. Mm, so we'll say else, else will execute this part. And then we also, we also have to end that if condition. So we'll say end if. That's it, I guess. Let's verify, let's refresh. And you can see I'm already logged in and that's why it shows the uh, name to it. So you can see it says hello Badresh because that's what we have done. And then you can click on logout so it will perform the logout operation. The moment you click on logout, it should give you the same page but with the help of login option. The, the moment you do that, we got an error. It's because we have not done with the logout part yet. So the way you can do that, oh, we have made one mistake. It should not be capital logout, it should be small one. Okay, so basically we have to do the map mapping first. In the URLs, we have to say path. We have to also handle logout now. We'll say logout and here we'll say views dot logout comma name is Okay, that's the thing we need, we need here, but we don't have a function, which is logout in this case. Let's do that. Let's do it here at the end. So we'll say def logout, which takes a request object colon. And here we just have to log out. Okay. Now you might be thinking that there will be multiple steps to do that. Uh, actually not. You can simply say auth, the same object and auth dot logout in bracket you just have to pass the request object and your job is done. You have basically logged out the user from the system. But then after logging out, I want to call the home page again. So you will say return redirect and this is where you will call the home page. Done. Let's verify. Let's go back to the page. So you can see we are logged out. No. So you can see the user is logged in. Click on logout. We got the home page and it says register and login. Uh, I will say login again and this time it will ask you for the name. I will log in from Naveen and submit. You can see I'm logged in, but my name is not getting printed. Maybe the data is not stored in database properly. Let's go back. Let's use a different account, which will work properly. I will say Praveen, u 0 submit. And you can see we got hello Praveen. So some, maybe my name is not stored in the first name section of database, but Praveen and brothers is working. So that's how you can simply have login, registration and log out. In fact, you can have one more thing, let's say, uh, anyone can access the home page when someone comes here. What if you don't want to log in and still you want to explore? You can. The moment you click on Pune, let's say we have a page which will show the details about Pune, but I don't want anyone to see the Pune page if you are not logged in. So it should call the login page automatically. And that is something I want you to complete. I know we have not done that and we will not be doing that. That's my plan. But what you can do is create a page for Pune. In fact, for, for all the cities, call the specific page based on what request you are sending. And then before showing that page, you have to check if the user is logged in or not. 
If the user is logged in, you have to show that page. Otherwise, you have to show the login page. That's your assignment. So that's it from this video where we have talked about all the stuff. In fact, login, logout and registration. Now that's the first section of Django. Okay, that's the end of the first section. I will try to make some more videos in future, but that's not something was planned before. I was planning for the basic course and that's done. So I hope you enjoyed the series till now. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.